You know, some people that play this game are absolutely insane. And with that I mean, some people build like the most crazy buildings and cities which require over 250k stuff for building. Maybe someday I would like to visit some of these places and take a look around what they've been building. But for today, we are going to finish off our storage area and probably do a few couple of extra things. Now allow me to show you what I've been doing off camera. This right down here. Oh yes, it looks way more better than the last time. Yeah, I decided that I would like to keep these railings all the way until there. It was kind of a little bit of a messing around to see how I can aim this out. And speaking about aiming out, I've also been aiming out the windows onto this building. It was actually not that difficult. All I had to do was move the windows one block off to this side. And also on the inside, I had to move these pathways up to that side. So yeah, in this case, now it's all nice aimed out. And I know I've been saying that I would, you know, build a part of the storage area already. But to be real honest, I was busy so much with placing these fences one by one and having to take care that they're hard on it. I have been placing all of these tree plots with a bit of grass in it. You know, I I like it for now. I really do. And of course, painting will be something uh, at some point. Maybe even today. We're just going to take a look at it in a minute. As you can see, the one thing that has been changing is the height of the roof. Because I thought it was a little bit too pointy. It didn't felt like correct to say. And now it's perfect. Um, yeah, we're gonna put the roof on it also. And let me see. Yeah, I've been placing this stuff down here. I thought it would be, you know, way more... It looks more nicer than having two separate, like, of these planks. So I just took a wooden beam of 12 blocks long, placed it. I had to remove the beam on this side for a minute because, you know, when you remove the, uh, the blocks that are on the grid, and then want to place them back, these precisely placing blocks will disallow that. So it will be fine, we'll place them back later on. Also, I've been making a little alleyway type of deal. I've been thinking about what I want to do with it. Um, I probably end up making the building until here. And then I would like to see if I can place like a uh, iron fence or something between it. So you can still not just, you know, go through uh, the little alleyway. But I just have to see, and I might just end up having, you know, the mud not onto the stone. I would just build like a piece of stone down here and then put the fence on top of it. Just have to see, maybe I'll just paint it brown. So yeah, and then just place some rubble and maybe some trees that come up from here. I think that would look nice. Now, what I wanted to do, I had some stuff somewhere in one of these chests, and I seen this idea actually at Corellis. And those are like safety tires. <laughs> I know it's not like tires, but yeah, you just, you know, when someone can't swim, you just throw them into the water, and then it looks nice. I got a few couple of crates, but I need a lot more. Maybe I'm going to need to head out on expedition, see if I can find some more crates. I just placed them around in the uh, rubbleish alleyway. I'm just also gonna take the paint gun. And sooner or later, I would also maybe like to paint the ship, make sure it's, you know, correct. A few couple of blocks need to be added. Certain needs to be removed. Certain others, um, yeah, need to be turned around like this one up there. But that will be fine. All right, I got, a, you know, four tires. I can make more later on. Now this is just purely to add, you know, a little bit of decorative type of deal. And I think, uh, I need to keep in mind, we're also going to make like a few couple of, you know, crates here and there. But I think it would be nice, and I can always, you know, replace them. I think it would be nice to just place them around here, like that. Not just like that. I am going to need to make a few couple of these things, I guess. So it looks like it's more hanging. 
I actually wish that these nails um, weren't per three. Um, yeah, if you have one nail or it says one time, then it's still three nails, which is, yeah, kind of odd, I would say. Now, there are also a lot of other different things that I might be able to use, like why not use the backside of a glass blowing pipe? Could also be a thing. You know, let's just. Let's just craft one, feed it, and then we can take a look how it looks like, right? Now, I've also been thinking about um, about painting the whole uh, stone stuff, um, which I basically mean I would like to have it some kind of a white with yellow-ish type of deal. All right, let's take a look, and I kind of hope... I'm not sure if you can... Well, yeah, you can. I wanted to say I'm not sure if you can harden out this item and then grab it back if need. Yeah, you can deconstruct it and get it back. Okay, that's very good. Just in case, you know, someday maybe I'll find something. You know, something like this could do. A kind-ish in the middle. Now, okay, better idea. Let's just first replace this tire since the tire isn't placed correctly. And... It has two sides. It has this side, which I don't like because I would like to have it white and red, which this side gives more options to do so. And then I need to kind of figure out like something like that would do. And then just place this thing slash is around here. Something like that. I mean, now it looks like it is hanging, right? And yeah, let's uh, start painting this thing. Now, what is happening right now is a brown. So we need to change the mode because it's color picker, I guess. No, restore. I drop, okay. Paint, hold. Now, uh, color picker is G. I'm not going to always show this, but you know, for the first one, I think it will be fine. I would like to have a red that contains a bit of white in it. You know what? I'm going to take it. It's perfect. So number two should be white. So change mode. No object selection. Okay, now it's on two. Let's pick a color. Let's do it all out white. Even though it... Okay, it only picks up white, that's fine. Then... Perfect. Oh, I need to keep that in mind, of course. It lights up when you go onto it. Yeah, that, that looks that looks absolutely fine. Okay, so that, then we can just eye drop colors if need. I just need to be careful not uh, to touch it too much. Now, we could do a small little part of the um, the stone just to see, you know, give it a little bit of color. And yeah, that would be nice. So, a bit of a yellow. Don't she is darker? Now, I hope that what you see is what you get, right? Uh, it's not what I kind of expected. It's way too dark. Yeah, maybe that will do. You just have to be real careful to not hit anything. So, yeah, before doing any detailing, it might be handy to just, you know, paint some stuff. And this, this just right away gives it a game change that I find, because... You know, or else you're going to work with a lot of the same colors. But that's nice. Now, for that stuff though, it's it seems also that it's a lot darker. Uh, except on that side. So... Mm, I think about a green blackish type of deal. You know, something like that. Oh god. <laughs> Should be really careful not hitting the trees or grass or whatever. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, just, you know, give me your feedback on, on the colorizing stuff. I think the green is kinda okay, I would say. 
Uh, of course, you need to imagine everything needs to be more whitish. And then having these tires each uh, for sections will add a bit of color. Of course, we're going to add some brown back. Uh, but for the dark though, I would like to have a way darker brown. So we're going to put it on orange. Uh, let's just say like a nice dark brown type of deal here. Something like that. I mean, that's a game changer if everything will be like that. And I would just like, you know, snap my finger and just show you the result in once. I mean, that, that would be the most amazing thing. Now, yeah, you can shoot pretty far. And I kind of seen this at Corellis' video too. Like, the amount of distance is nuts, but it is very good. You know, this game is not being uh, too difficult, too limited. Now, I am wondering, can I eye drop and put it on two only? So let's see if, if that is a thing, because it would be super handy. So the first thing we need to do is change the mode to number two. Then do the or object selection, then do the uh, mode change to eye drop. A restore eye drop. Okay, it's now on two. Pick this color for two, but of course two is blocked out in there. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. It was a bit unnecessary on that block, but for this block it is perfect. So you just um with the, the one most up left where the arrow uh starts is the color you have at the moment and then paint it onto the section where the arrow is facing to. That's it's still very handy. I like that. And of course, I'm going to need to plant another tree around here somewhere, just at this corner. I'm only not really sure how, because placing it here would not be, you know, make, doesn't make much sense. I'll have to think about it. So another thing that I want to do, of course, first off the roof, and then I would like to see if I can make something extra on this side. Oriental. Yeah, let's just do this one. Now we have very rough pieces and we have lesser rough pieces. I would like to go for lesser rough pieces. Now I'm only wondering, do they have like uh, yeah, red, 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 red. Red, red, and red. I don't think so. Like, these blocks. Um, well, maybe it is, well, this one, because this is a very rough one. How about this, right? I almost feel like all of these blocks need to be one higher. Almost. But at the point is, I don't want to have this building too high. That looks just weird. And of course, what we can also do here, and this is why I needed these guys, is to have it like that, and then like that, right? Uh, having a little hangover there. You know what? I'm just going to accept it for now. Like, I need to do a lot more um, if it's about playing this game and unlock a lot more. And yeah, or else it's going to be too much of a messing around. Mm. <laughs> so in this case I might need to change something onto this building once again which I'm not really happy with because I'm going to need to add a lot of extra stuff onto the top of there the mainly problem is this down here which I didn't think of that looks definitely a lot better though now the only problem I'm having is I would like to you know make something go this way from the building something over and hanging but i'm not really feeling it how i should do it i mean i can make like a slope or something in the front of the window but i'm not really sure if that is like realistic enough we can try something i have also painted the uh plots the the flower parts here I just basically, you know, remove all the grass and give it like a dark brown painting, the same color as the dock itself. But that's already done. I don't have to do that afterwards. Now I could do something like this, right? Let's just do a little test something here. And then I can always, you know, maybe make something incline. So it's not like floating. Um, but I also feel like 
Maybe make it one wider. This guy might be able to do it. But this, this, this is what I would say for the trick. Place one of these. And then try to aim this out. Like that-ish. Oh, that's kind of perfect. And then try to place it. It's a bit difficult to see though, but... Oh, what? Um, stuff? Something like that? I mean, it's not perfect, but it does add, you know, a bit of a dimension to... ...to the shell. Hmm. Mm hmm. You know, maybe I should just wait with this and see if I can, you know, build a certain structure here. Maybe a crane or maybe a thing and uh, having a pole and try to hang something on there. If, if that will work out, if not, then it's fine. I mean, I want to have like a tree down here anyway, so it fills it up. Maybe I can... I... I do all of a sudden have an idea though. Maybe something like oh, it's 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 not, it's not too bad. It looks weird, but hmm. I'll, I'll bet we can fix something out of that though. Wait, what? Why isn't it showing like stuff? Anyways, a car. I said like a, a nice bit of a blue, right? Like a Caribbean type of blue. Like it's happy houses, but. Happy houses in a poor place. Something like that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And the doors. Yes. Oh, let's just smear it all over the place. Yeah, okay. It, it It's popping up. Now, what I would like to have here is a bit more grayish. Bluish. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It would be so nice if we can have like an overall eye drop, but the selection does only do this, that, that, or everything it seems like, but it doesn't do that. And I understand you can't pick two colors in one slot, but yeah, okay, let's just do it. There we go. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess it is okay. It, it still has a, a darker color, which I like from the other side. And from this side, it looks more whitish. Like, it is kind of fitting in together. Um, but yeah, for a chain, I'm going to need to have something like smaller for adding a nice green color in there. Or you can still let me know. Uh, but for the roof, um, what shall we do, right? Bit of a orangey color, although I don't find this very orange though. Going to need to have more tight of an orange. Let's see if it's all the way up. Yeah, orange is a difficult color. Yeah, that's also a thing though. Blocks with different colors if you don't paint it like ultra dark it's still like a color difference like you can easily see that like you know what i don't think it it looks too bad it gives a bit of an idea for uh, that race car like what was that for gt or whatever with that blue and orange i'm going to see how it looks like in overall so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give this place like a boost. Like in the next moment, you're going to be amazed that everything is colorized. The building will be finished off beside the entrance. And I will mind something for the floor. And so many, many, many hours later, I have everything painted out. And it took me so much paint, in fact, that I had to set up a special farm in order to make dye. A lot of dye. I even been making a lot of these pigment jars. I actually went back to home base number one so I could take a pigment jar and give it a color. And within these are all of these colors that I'm going to need. 
Now let me just turn around and show you. There we go. I painted every bit of stone, every piece of wood, and the whole building of course. Yeah. Now I am thinking maybe there are some spots which I need to do, like these poles underneath the uh, dock and maybe a piece of wall underneath the dock. I tried to paint as much as possible, but for the wood I'm going to need to maybe have a boat to stand on. Uh, because in the water, that's a good one. Can I actually paint? Nope. So yeah, you have these uh, these large pillars uh, which need to be painted and these uh, large beams. But anything else, as you can see, is like painted. Very good. The roof is on top. It looks very nice. Or at least I think it looks very nice. And I've decided indoors uh, the, to give the floor the same color as the dark, of course. I'm going to leave this uh, color as it is. I don't want to like overly paint everything. But uh, yeah, I need a few more pieces of wood. And anything else is done. Um, yeah, even the parts. Looks very nice. Done the whole docking system. <laughs> Whatever to call it. And I uh, placed three more of these safety things. Now for the blue stuff. I am actually using the desert sheets. Yeah this one for the blue. I use uh, cotton for white. Then I got raspberries for the red dye. I use grass for and green dye. And or partly I burn the grass in order to get black dye. That is how I got my stuff done. I think it looks very really nice. Of course, there's going to be a lot more stuff around here to make it even more nice. Uh, I would like to have colorful market stands. I would like to have flags and all kinds of stuff and things around in the area. Now, of course, what I will do off camera is place another one of the storage buildings right down there. And or I will make the storage area. I'm not going to guarantee that I'm having it all done in one of the other episodes but i will try to do my best it takes a lot of work and then at some point we are going to fix up some of these buildings here with apparently um on top floor <laughs> dummy so there's nothing going to be in there just windows and then empty rooms and some shops underneath a uh, few couple here a few couple there and I just have to see what I'm going to do at the other side of the pathway. But at that side, I do want to fix a few couple of them. And uh, yeah, anything else? Let me know if you got ideas. Let me know if you got some coloring ideas or something like that. And I forgot this stuff down here. Hope you will have a good week. And then I'll catch you guys Wednesday.